I believe we are getting started. One second, let me make sure everything is ready to roll here. Make sure I skip my own advertisement, as I always do. You're not waiting for Professor Chess. I am here, computer. What are you talking about? All right, make sure everything is up and rolling. I thought, let's spruce up the music a little bit for this one, because I don't want to have the nice subdued tones of the, uh, what you call it? Ultra Megalopolis. Let's get the Battle Shadow Lane music to kick things off for Celestial Storm. Welcome back, Pokemon trainers. Professor Chaz is here. The lab code is not here. It's on back order. And it's time for Celestial Storm and Pokemon TCG Online. All right. And yeah, Michael, no worries. You did miss out the Pokemon Go stream this morning, but it's not a big deal. There's plenty more streams to come in the future, but good to see you here. I have, I see Roll King here as well, calling for the hype. Pumpkin is here who did manage to win one of the code cards from the giveaway. We'll talk about that in a little bit, but you don't have a TCG account, so we'll have to figure out what to do. All right, and who else do we have here? Why is my cursor dead? There we go. We've got OMG, it's Sark. We've got uh, Michael Adewol is here, Unknown Spike, and Jesus Velasquez. I'm glad you had time, or glad you had time, glad you had a good time doing the stream last night for some Pokemon Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon Wi-Fi battles. Sadly, I could not defeat you, but I mean, that's all well and good. I was there just to have fun, and I was basically, you know, killing time in between some breeding for tomorrow. For my prizes, I'll talk about that in a little bit. I still gotta work on the thumbnail. But, and we got uh, Sam, Xeon785 here in the chat. Welcome to the stream as well. So as Unknown Spike is getting right down to business, not giving us a second to talk, we gotta talk about the winners, and a bit of an issue-ish type thing with what YouTube has done. Now, first of all, I did say on our pre-release video, leave a comment in the uh, comments down below with the hashtag QOTD in the comment, answering the question of which card would you like to most receive from Celestial Storm and why. So, bit of an issue. Some people answered the question, did not include hashtag QOTD in the comment. Naughty, naughty. Fortunately, it's not a problem this time. We only had seven people answer the question, and we had actually eight codes available to give out. So what I'm going to do, since I believe the booster pack code cards are kind of more interesting, more important to people than the 22-card uh, pre-release pack, I'm going to prioritize the seven booster pack code cards to give out. I'll just add in the uh, pre-release pack back into like, sort of the random giveaway and stuff like that. But the winners were Pumpkin who said full art stack attack at GX was what they were looking forward to. We had CS, I don't know if you're here today, but they said Scizor GX, reminiscent of Scizor EX that they had. We have, like OMG, it's Sark, who says acro bike full art would be pretty cool to get. And Charles Jones said full art TV reporter would be nice. Unknown Spike said pretty much every GX there was and for every possible reason imaginable. We had uh, Chino Ricoba saying that Steven's Resolve full art was one they were looking forward to, and NBA Live Mobile DZ had called for Articuno GX. All right, so those are the people that have been selected to win. Again, it wasn't a big deal this time, but in the future, for anyone that is interested, make sure you put the hashtag QOTD, because if the channel starts getting big enough that I've got like 100 comments to scroll through, I'm going to have to do a search for that hashtag, just to like sort of speed things up for myself. If the comment does not include the hashtag, it might get overlooked, just to be completely, you know, transparent with that whole way it's going to be done. But this time around was no big deal. So everyone who has won... The issue is, YouTube no longer allows direct messaging, which is how I usually give out the code cards. So I put a comment on everyone's response, or sorry, I put a response on everyone's comment. That's the proper way to say that. Just asking each person to send me an email and let me know what YouTube username that you have, and I'll respond to that email with a special code word. You're going to want to put the code word on the YouTube comment in a response, just so I know that the email... So, so basically, what could happen is I ask for an email. Someone... Anyone could see that message and say, you know, Joe Smith is like, hey, I want a code. I'm going to send that guy an email. I'm going to get the code. I'm going to respond to the email with a code word. Let's say, you know, pancakes off the top of my head. If I say pancakes in the email response, the YouTuber username then will have to respond with the word pancakes as a comment. That way I know the email is connected to that person's YouTube account. I know it's the same person. That's going to keep someone from snagging the code that these people have earned by answering that comment, that answer uh, question of the day in the last video. And then once that comment has been posted under the YouTuber name, and I see pancakes, for example, for whoever, then I will know that email is good, code is being sent out. That's how we're going to have to work it. That being said, Pumpkin has said they don't have a Pokemon TCG Online account, so I'm going to leave it up to you, Pumpkin, 
Do you want me to toss in your code for another random giveaway, or do you want me to send it to you? You can then choose to give it to somebody else. Just let me know what you want to do with that there. All right, and let's see what's going on here. Be caught up on the chat because I just did a lot of rambling. I'm not that far behind the chat, really. Unknown Spike. Well, everybody has won a booster pack of uh, Celestial Storm. And that's going to be a nice 11 card booster pack, 10 new cards plus the basic energy, of course. And yeah, hey, Suze, that was a really good Chikorita. The only uh, the only IV lacking was the attack stat, but that's what you're well, that's not what you're looking for for uh, Chikorita, Meganium. So it is really good for breeding, and I might have to make good use of that for sure. And hello to CRJ2002. Welcome to the stream tonight. Pumpkin wants to give it to somebody else. So what I can do, I can take one, and I'll tell you what. If you're willing to donate it right now, I'm going to take one of those codes. I have not named them based on anybody just yet, but I'm going to put this code... What do you think? In the chat or on screen for you to type in? Let me know what you think. I can give you the code immediately, and we'll go with that. And once we wait for the answers, or while we wait for the answers for that, what we're going to do for myself today is, if we take a look at what I have available, I have got... A fair number of packs that I can open up. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to not open those. I'm going to save those for trade fodder. Because, of course, people are going to be wanting to trade a lot of these booster packs off for uh, specific new cards. But what I'm going to do is drop some tokens. I'm going to buy 10 booster packs online, trade locked, which is what you get with your uh, tokens, of course. And we're going to open those 10 trade lock packs and see what cards I get. And then we're going to sit down, do a little bit of a uh, live deck building. We'll see what cards I get for Celestial Storm. We'll put nothing but those new Pokemon in together and throw in some older trainer cards and stuff like that. I want to try to make use of the new trainer cards more than the others, though. And I'll start doing some battles online. And I'm thinking, if you folks are interested, you can battle me for a chance to get another code today. Or maybe what I'll do, instead of a code, I will offer you a trade. I'll offer you one of those uh, Celestial Storm booster packs as a trade for just like a basic energy. So the thing is, if we're going to do this, I want to see the same kind of thing. I want to see you folks using just new Pokemon from Celestial Storm and see how things work out. Now, if I see a non-Celestial Storm Pokemon in that deck, because I can check the deck list at the end of the battle, the deal is null and void. But I'll probably trade off maybe an older pack anyway for your participation. I don't want to be all harsh and stuff like that. But I think it's kind of cool to make it make us all on the same playing field. It is like technically day two of the online release of Celestial Storm. So if we all have access to roughly the same amount of uh, same amount of Pokemon and stuff like that, then it would make things kind of interesting as we're still learning how to work these uh, these cards. So that's the idea for today. And let's see what's going on here. Pumpkin wants to give the. Uh, Pack someone else. That is all well and good. Michael spent all night in the battle tree. Hopefully you got some good BP out of that. And Sam does not have an account, but you are in the chat. But if you want to check out what's going on for uh, some new cards today, you're more than welcome to do so. And let's say, or let's say, let's see what else is going on. And Pumpkin has a Celestial Storm code as well. And if you want to give that away, you're welcome to, or if you want to keep it, that's all well and good. So I think what we're going to do, I'm going to give this first code in the chat a nice copy-paste for someone out there. Just one sec. This is our first Celestial Storm pack being given out live on the channel. Whoever does manage to snag this code, you better let us know what you get, because I want to know what kind of cool cards we have waiting for us in Celestial Storm. So that code is up for grabs. Now then, let us get ready to rumble with my own 10 booster packs of Celestial Storm. Also, once this is all said and done, if I'm feeling up to it, because I'm still feeling pretty under the weather, I'm feeling kind of worse today, actually. My whole body is now starting to get achy, and I've got a condition that doesn't always happen, but it flares up sometimes. It's a little bit of a thing called sciatica, where the lower back and the left leg get really sore, and I started feeling it last night, so I can't really sit in this position for too long. It's not terribly bad right now, so I can suffer through it for the time being, but I might have to end off just after the basic stuff for today. We'll see how things go. All right, we're going to get 10 booster packs of Celestial Storm right now. As I say, these are trade locked, so I can't trade any of these cards out, but we get to make some decks out of these. Now, the other thing is, too, if I basically trailed off, if we have time afterwards, if I'm still feeling up to it, what I want to do is buy the two theme decks of this new set and see what they're like, because the theme decks are pretty good nowadays. 
Alright, so am I getting lost in the chat? I don't think so. Let's see here. Hello to Genesec Gaming. Welcome to our stream today. Michael has 10 gifts to send out in Pokemon Go. Cool stuff. And let's see here. Wonder what's going on in the chat. Someone's talking that someone got banned for banning people. That's not good. And a monkey, hey, I'm on a bus. I'm not, but hopefully you're going somewhere pretty cool and you're checking out the stream. And that's about it for the chat. Everyone's kind of talking amongst themselves a little bit. All right, let us now see what we get. Pack number one. What do you think? Do you think we're getting a GX? Do you think we're getting a full art? I don't know. Of course, these are all trade locks, so if anyone sees something, oh, I want that card. You can't have it. It's my card. I won't have the option to trade it out. These are all new. All right, we've seen some of these when I did the uh, pre-release. We see Wingull. This is a new one I haven't seen. Cybolt does 20 and might paralyze. Okay, I think we've seen the most part. Energy switch, we've got, what is Lombre? Aqua Lift, if this Pokemon has any water energy, it's got no retreat cost. Ambush could do 40. Look at this, Blot. 20 damage and it heals 10. Okay, the rare card. Reggie Rock. Enhanced Stomp is 20 plus 20 more if it has a tool attached. Hammer Arm does 100 and discards the top card of the opposing deck. Pretty cool. Not a GX just yet. So let's go with... I like to click Done first because I want to see this animation every time. If you hit Open Another, I think it just goes to like another bunch of cards laying out. I want this animation. This is cool. All right. We've got a bunch of the basic stuff. We've got two different Mudkip in this set. We've got a Energy Recycle System. Choose one. I love the choice options. Put a basic energy card from your discard pile into your hand, or shuffle three basic energy from your discard pile into your deck. That is basically like Rescue Stretcher as far as energy is concerned. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. We got the Muddy Water and Surfing Marsh Stomp. We've seen a lot of action at the pre-release. We now have... Swampert! That's a pretty good one. Power Draw is a nice ability. Once during your turn, you can discard a card from hand, and if you do, you draw three. Hydro Pump does 80, plus 20 more for every water energy it's got attached. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to click open another just to see, have they changed this? They, ha they haven't changed it, so you don't get to see the thing tear open. I want to tear my packs open. All right, we got Fisherman, we got Vigoroth, we got Pupitar, Reverse Foil Fisherman. We got a Regirock. We've already got our first repeat rare. Well, we're only three packs in. This is our fourth pack. Come on, Jirachi, give us some good luck, would you? Next card will be a GX, someone's saying there. Hopefully it's going to be it. I don't have an Instagram yet, Sam. I haven't set things up. Admittedly, I was feeling kind of uh, tired after I did the stream this morning. I didn't sleep a lot last night, so I did not have time to set anything up as far as Discord or Instagram, but it is on my to-do list to look at after this as I'm doing some more uh, preparing for our Wi-Fi battling tomorrow. But the Sunbeam Soul Rock adding, or not adding, increasing every one of my Lunatones HP to 130. Tropius to find a friend. Solar Beam, Reverse Foil is mining. Ditch and draw. You may discard any number of cards from your hand, then draw till you have five in your hand. That's kind of good. Sometimes you have a hand of cards that just doesn't work. And Electro Ball for 30. The rare is... Yes! You got a stack attacker. You got a stack attacker from that packa. Ultra Wall. Your Ultra Beasts take 10 less damage from your opponent's attacks. Gigaton Stomp for 120. And Assembly GX, 50 damage plus... 50 more for each prize card you have taken. That's a nice one to start off with. I'm going to open one more pack, then I'll get caught up in the chat. I see people saying, read my last comment. Admittedly, it is hard to keep up with the comments when I have a lot of stuff to show off here on the uh, stream, just so you all know. All right, pack number five. And we'll take a brief little bit of an intermission-ish type thing. Alolan Rattata, call for the boss. That should call Giovanni, don't you think? We got a switch, we got Beast Ball, which we didn't actually talk about at the pre-release. Look at your face down prize cards. You may reveal an Ultra Beast card you find there, put it into your hand, and put this Beast Ball in its place. Then shuffle your face down prizes. That's actually pretty cool. You get to look at all of your prizes. Alright, Reverse Foil is a Volbeat. The rare is... the Lipstick Bayonet. Red Eyes, when you play this Pokemon from hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may put a basic Pokemon from the opposing discard pile onto the bench. The reason you would do that is enemy show. For each of your opponent's Pokemon in play, put one damage counter on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. Not super powerful, but at least it adds more damage if you do have a basic added from their discard pile. Alright, let's get caught up on the chat once again here. 
Pumpkin, I see a while back, has dropped a code for Celestial Storm. Regirock has some good potential. Definitely, yeah. And Roll King has got a good deal of six packs for, of Celestial Storm for 20 bucks. That's actually pretty good. I find some of those packs can go for like five or six bucks a piece. So that would be like, you know, at the maximum, like 36 bucks. So that's not bad for 20. And Genesect says, read the last comment. What do the ticket things do in TCG? The uh, event tickets, I believe you're saying. You use them. We'll take a brief pause from here. If you go to the events, you can use those tickets to jump into some of these special online tournaments. See, this takes eight tickets for the standard. You got eight tickets for the expanded and four tickets for the theme. These go into a single, elimin single elimination style ladder tournaments where if you lose once, you're out. But you can check the rewards of each one. So you have a chance to get booster packs just by playing these tournaments. Now, if you get beaten out in the first round, you at least get an uncommon chest for uh, submitting your event tickets. In third or fourth place, just by winning one battle, you get 50 trainer tokens and one booster pack of Celestial Storm, and I'm pretty sure these are tradable. They're not trade locked, even though you're not spending real money or whatever like that. These are usable in the trade section of the game. Get second place, you get 100 tokens and two boosters. If you win the tournament, 200 trainer tokens and three booster packs. And if you get enough tickets, just do these. Like, I have 568. I don't do enough of these events. I really got to get doing that because that is a good way to get a lot of good stuff in the online game. Why do I want the deck manager? I don't. I want the collection. All right, so what else, what else have I missed out on? Uh, read the last comment. I saw that. The art looks amazing to CRJ. Monkey's on a school bus coming home from school. Okay. And we have Cam MCC. Welcome to the stream, Cam. How's it going today? Thanks for popping in. And Michael is done with school. You're on summer break. Awesome stuff. And hopefully the Chikorita is good a, breed, a good breeding Pokemon. Yes, it is. Jesus. Every, it's got the hidden ability. It's got five max IVs. The attack was not maxed, but again, doesn't matter for uh, Meganium. It's more of a defensive Pokemon. Anyway, CRJ says, someone used a Golem card without evolving Geodude to Graveler to Golem. Can someone explain this? They probably used a Rare Candy, because Rare Candy allows you to go from a Basic to a Stage 2 that evolves from that Basic on that one turn. So that's probably what happened, unless some other ability came into play that affected that. Alright, let's pop open Pack 5 of <coughs> Celestial Storm. I should have got water. Alright, we got... A couple of Trico. There's two different Trico in this too. Hey, non alert Acrobike. We have Super Scoop Up. This looks like old style art. Flip a coin. If heads, put one of your Pokemon and all cards attached back into your hand. We've seen that. We have a rare. Well, first of all, the reverse foil is Pelipper. The rare card. What are you? Kyogre. Haven't seen you. Dual Splash. 30 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon. Grand Wave does 120 and it can't use Grand Wave next turn. Interesting. Not sure how viable that is, but if you have a way to float stone retreat it, and the other Pokemon, or no, if you have like the invasion Dawn Wings Necrozma, you can invasion, retreat, and then you can use that attack again, because once you go to the bench, line, you know, uh, what'd you call it? Hovering effects like that, I guess, will go away when they're on the bench. Alright, pack number seven. Can we get anything other than just that one GX? Stack attack is kinda cool. Stack attack is kinda wacky. But I want to see more. Look at... Speaking of wacky, look at the art. Growth. Attach up to two grass energy cards from your hand to this Pokemon. Not bad. Double Razor Leaf. You need double. 30 times. Flip two coins for each heads. Okay. Friend Ball. This was an interesting card, which I don't know how useful it's going to be in competitive. Search your deck for a Pokemon with the same type as one of your opponent's Pokemon in play. Reveal it and put it into your hand. I mean, it's good because it's not just a basic. You can get a evolved Pokemon. You can get a GX, but you got to be playing the same deck type as the opponent, so it could be pretty limited. We got a Reverse Foil Beldum with Single Smash. The rare card. Reggie Rock. Okay. Pack number eight. Can we get another Reggie Rock? Can we make a whole deck of Reggie Rock? All right. Let's see what we get now. <laughs> oh yes, Chikorita is in a friend ball. That is right, Jesus. I forgot. Thank you. We got a bag on Rockhead. Ten damage. You take ten less next turn. Okay. So this CRJ might be what they use. That's the rare candy right there. It says choose a basic Pokemon in play. If you have a stage two that evolves from it, 
put it right onto that state, sorry, right onto the basic, and then the item is discarded. But you can't use it on your first turn or the first turn that that basic Pokemon put into play. Okay, do we see another Regirock? Come on. No, another fighting type, though. Metacham with Strike of Enlightenment, 10 plus. If this Pokemon's HP, remaining HP, is 30 or less, this does 160 more damage. 170 plus if you get the... There's a tool in this new set that does even more if you're at 30 or less HP. That's not bad. If those two things combine, that might do a lot of damage. Spinning Kick does 90, but it hurts itself 430. All right. Two Trade Lock Packs left to open up. Let's see what we get. I want to see another Regirock. <laughs> All right, we got another. Uh, we got a new Sableye, a new Tropius, Reverse Foil, the rare pack. Sorry, rare card of this pack. All right, we got something. Blaziken GX, 240 HP, Slash for 60, Explosive Kick for 210. Discard two Fire Energy from this Pokemon. Blaze out GX. Discard two energy from your opponent's Pokemon. So, from the sounds of it, that chooses any two energy from any of them to burn out. It's two that doesn't do any damage, though. I kind of like the explosive kick, though. That might be nice. Alright, so we have two GXs. I'm not sure if I can actually use that. I don't have any Combuskin yet that I've seen. Alright, let us see what the next pack, the last pack we're opening, gives us. We have a regular Dawn fan. We've got Reverse Foil Voltorb. The last rare. What do you think? Delcaddy. So I mentioned the King Nappy before. I was watching him do live pack openings of something, and he opened up one pack. It was the last pack he was opening. He got to the rare, and it was Delcaddy, and he literally took it and ripped it in half because he said it was garbage. This I don't mind, though. Search for Friends Ability. Essentially, since we do not yet have Versus Seeker back in the standard format, it is pretty good. Search for friends. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may put two supporter cards from the discard pile back into your hand. So that is a way to get your supporters back. Especially since they're taking away my Puzzle of Time in standard format. I mean, expanded. It's going to be out of standard format now that I realize it. Alright, well, that's what I got out of my booster packs. <laughs> Let's see what else is going on. Yeah, I should get some moisture there, Sam. You're right, my uh, throat is getting dried up. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Can't Magikarp use Dual Splash? Can it? There probably is a card that does that. And let's see. Use at least three Regirock for the memes. I probably should use all the Regirock. Yes, indeed. And so, yeah, Joseph, I think what people are saying, there's sometimes people that are asking, like, every single time, can I be a mod? You haven't done that yet, but I think people are getting tired of people asking. Maybe that's why some of them got upset, but no worries. There's no reason, or sorry, no reason for mods just yet until I actually see there's a, a serious problem. Then I'll consider mods, right? Not that I'm saying, someone start a problem, you know? Because I can easily moderate myself right now. So, I guess, like I say, until the channel gets really big, there's no need for moderators, because I should be able to handle it myself if there is ever a problem but it doesn't hurt to ask though and people can just like you know if they if someone asks they can just ignore it and just move on all right it should have been reggie rock do i like cookies and milk sam is asking i do like cookies and milk not as much as santa claus so of course he goes through a lot of that in one day every year all right so let's go to the deck manager and see what can we work with i'm gonna make a new deck create new deck we'll do standard i like to do standard format and, <coughs> I'm going to die a little bit, I'm going to go with Just Celestial Storm. So if I was to make a deck out of what I've gotten, what can I work with? I have Weeping Bell, I've got one of those, I've got two Bell Sprouts, so I could go with them. Scyther might not be bad. Eh, twin Play, it only works if I have more Scyther though. Agility could be okay, but we'll hold off on that idea for now. I like to take a look and see what do I have that can evolve up to get more power. Alright, so... Actually, no, wait! I do have Torch of Combuskin and Blaziken! I want to try that. I want to try the first GX. You guys are all going in. This is not going to be competitive, of course, as you probably are well aware. First of all, I'm not super competitive to begin with. Second of all, it's going to be really lucky to get this to work. But I can also put the Swampert in. Alright, let's put a few Mudkip. We'll go with... I like this one that can draw water energy out. Put two of them... 
I might change this up, though, but I'm just starting off with some uh, evolutionary lines to see what I can work with. Oh, Kyogre. Not probably the best thing to put in. What else can work? Mine and I want, might want to try mine and Ditch and Draw. Well, we'll come back to that in just a moment. I have Bayonet for an option. I don't want to put too many different energy types in, though. Because that might make it harder to get what I'm looking for. So we have Water and Fire for the time being. I could try the Flail and Rapid Spin combo. I mean, fl sorry, Endure and Flail combo of Fan to Dawn Fan. You know I gotta put Reggie Rock though, right? How can I how can I ignore the luck of Reggie Rock? I'm doing it. Why not? I'll put in three energy types if I have to. We have stack attack. I see you take steel energy though, metal energy. <sighs> and it's gonna apply more to Ultra Beasts, but I kinda wanna put both of the uh, GXs in the first deck just to try to make them work. I don't know if that'd be a good idea. See, I should probably well, I want to keep Swampert for the draw support of Power Draw, which could be useful. We've got a bunch of normal types. Delcaddy might be okay. We don't only have one Skitty, though. But I could try to make that work with the Super Scoop Up. So... Just for the heck of it, I'm going to put Delcaddy and Skitty in. What do you think? Should I put Stack Attack in and put four different energy in here? That might be kind of calling for troubles. Jesus is asking, where can I find Ambipalm in Sinnoh? That's the last Pokemon you need, and you can't find Apalm in Honey Trees. As far as I know, the only way to get Ambipalm is to evolve an Apalm. I don't think there are any wild Ambipalm, and I believe Apalm are only from the Honey Trees. And to get Ambipalm, sorry, or, sorry Apalm to evolve to Ambipalm, it needs to learn Double Hit, I believe. Or is it? It needs to level up in the ruins of Alf. Because I, th no, not ruins of Alf. What is it? There's a cave in Salacion Town, I think. That that is where it evolves at. But that might be one of the double hit ones. I'm not sure. All right. So unknown Spike says stack attack at GX might be a bit of a mistake, and I might agree with that. Hello to Jennifer Vlogs, uh, Vlogs One. Welcome to our stream. We're debating whether or not Stack Attack and GX would be good to add in. It's probably not. It is much more reliable for an Ultra Beast deck. So let's uh, hold off on that. We got 15 Pokemon. I think that's probably good. Do we want all three Regirock? We're going with all three Regirock. I like the blur on the, the front of the you know, fist, hand, appendage, whatever that's called. That looks really cool. Also, it looks like it's almost a clay model. All right, so let's see what new trainer cards we got that we can work with. We'll go with just a Celestial Storm. We probably don't have enough to make a full, you know, competitive deck here. I've got, <coughs> excuse me, Beast Ball will be useless in this deck that we're putting together. We've got Acrobike, we've got Energy Recycle System. I'm going to probably just put all these new trainer cards in. Energy Switch, we've got a couple of Fishermen. Don't know if that's going to be useful or not. Rare Candy could help us go into Blaziken GX right from Torchic. Friend Ball might be cool. Shrine of Punishment might be kind of good could hurt us, though, because it does hurt Pokemon EX and GX, so we'll have Blaziken GX. We'll do it. Why not? We'll put it in. I'm going to try the Super Scoop Ups. Might be good for our Skitty and Delcaddy, as I just said. I'll put in a couple of Switch cards. Those are all the trainers. I probably want to put some more trainers in. Let's just see what is still currently standard legal. We have them based off newest to oldest, so... I might just want to put in some staples. What are some of the more important cards for us? Ultra Space will not be good. Let's go all the way to the old. Actually, let's go oldest to newest and see what is the oldest set that is available to us. Well, this goes way back. These are all like the uh, the currently reprinted cards. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, where does the new stuff start? I believe it is one of the. Uh, break, or, uh, break boosters. I think this is it right here. So I can put anything in from here. Now, as I said, if we're going to do any viewer battles, only new Pokemon should be used in these battles, but the original items from uh, earlier sets for standard, uh, I guess even expanded would be fine too. But yeah, for uh, purposes of, what am I going to say here? Trainer cards can be tossed in from earlier sets. 
So, that being the case, I'm going to put a couple Skylas, because i got to love using Skylas. Search for any trainer card you want. Uh, hmm. I like Professor's Letter. I might want to put some of those in. Well, let's hang on. Let's take a look at Energy Requirements. We want a few Fighting for Regirock. Fire for a Blaziken. And we're going to lose two Energy using Explosive Kick. I want to put in the Burning Energy. Because that does reattach once we use the attack. And water. We definitely want water to power up Swampert's Hydro Pump. So I'm thinking of going with a basic 15 energy, relying more heavily on the water. So I'm thinking maybe 5 water, maybe 4 fighting, 3 fire, and a couple of the burning energies. Let's see what I have to work with here. First of all, burning energy. We've got 5 of these trade locks, so I can go ahead and toss these. I'll put, I'll put 3 in, I think. Alright, and CRJ is heading out. Well, thanks for popping in, and we'll see you later on. Tomorrow we'll be coming back with a Pokemon Pearl episode during the daytime, if I'm feeling well enough to record it tonight, <coughs> which might not happen. And tomorrow evening, we'll have our Wi-Fi battles in Ultra Sun. Alright, so Burning Energy. I'm going to put, what did I say, five water. Do we have any special? Yes, we do. Let's put the special waters in. Look at this, all nice and shiny. I can put Unit Energy in. But let's not do that just yet. We'll leave that as it is. We've got enough special energy as it is with the burning. Right, we'll put five. We're going to put some fighting. Should I use strong energy? The last chance I have to use it probably before the uh, new standard rotation kicks in. Nah, we'll just go with the regular fighting energies. Like I guess I'm going to try to strict stick to using just burning energy for specials. In fact, let's go four and three fire. This is not going to be a competitive deck by any means, but it's going to be fun. This is our first day just playing around with some of these new cards. We'll put a nice little Sun and Moon version of the Fire Energy. So we have space for 13 more trainer cards. Suggesting 4 Cynthia and 4 N. I'll put a couple of each of those, actually. I don't like to go too crazy with, like, multiples. I know it's, you know, competitive-wise, competitively thinking, those are better ways to do it, but I am so far not a competitive person, it would blow your mind. Actually, probably wouldn't if you watch my stuff enough. So I'll put two ends, two Cynthia's. Let's see. What else is going on? CRJ just got Dawn Wings Necrozma GX. Very awesome stuff. Uh, four different energies, Cam is saying. See, four would be kind of risky. I think three is good to start with here. Oh, when I get back into Pokemon Go, Jennifer sent me a gift. Thank you. Awesome stuff. Glad to hear it. And Miles Quinn. I don't remember the name. I apologize for being forgetful. I'm an old man, <laughs> but I don't quite remember the name, but I'm sure, you know, if you stick around, you probably start to uh, get remembered and stuff like that. All right. Any other ideas for trainer cards? Let's see. I'm um, back to the start again. Um, I like searching things, uh, searching support. Let's go with maybe a couple nest balls. It's good for getting some basics out. And I think Evo Sodas. Actually, no, you know what? Ultra Balls. Because I'm going to want to get... Should I go Ultra Ball or Timer Ball? I'm going to try Timer Balls instead. Put a couple of those in. They are risky, of course. Flip a coin. If you get heads, you get to search for a, a nice evolution card. But I got two chances to do that. What else should we get? Maybe Rescue Stretchers. Put a couple of those in. Buddy Buddy Rescue. I've never seen anyone really use this. So I'm going to ignore that. We've got three more cards to add in. I'm thinking maybe a couple supporters. Oh no, we need tools for Regirock, don't we? Well, let's check what we have available for tools. Apply that. We'll take this searching off. Let's go newest to oldest. What would be a good tool? Oh, wait a minute. This works from Ultra Prism. Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, Reggie Seal, Reggie Gigas takes 30 less damage. This might actually have a use now. Let's put that in. <coughs> Excuse me. A skateboard might be good. What's the retreat cost on Reggie Rock? It's probably three. Yes, it is. All right, so the rescue, or so the skateboard is not going to help too much. Reduces the retreat by one. So let's hold on to that for the time being. Um, maybe let's just put. Wishful Baton. 
Yeah, we'll do that. We'll put a Wishful Baton in. I got space for one more card. Let's go with... Every deck needs at least one Guzma. Let's put Guzma in. I think that's our attempt at our first deck. Just for fun. Like I said, it's not going to be competitive by any means. But we're going to have some fun with it. We're going to call this... Uh, Celestial Storm Day 1. I put the number 1 beside it, that way it's easier for me to find it in my list. No, you know what? This is not going to be really used again. Let's just go with CS Day 1. There we go. Let's go with like the standard coin, standard deck box, standard card sleeves. We're all well and good. And there we go. Genesect, your game's being all messed up again. Ah! Hopefully you can get it to work for you there. And... OMG Sark saying, not really competitive, just helps you draw through your deck. Any type of player would not want to get bricked and not draw any cards. You're saying, oh, for Cynthia and N, right, indeed. Which is why I kind of think it's kind of cool to have that mine in. You can just ditch and draw, discard cards from hand, then draw until you have five. And hello to Sailor Pika. Pumpkin is also back. And Monkey is just restarting school. It's the second day where you're at. And JRC Royal Gamer asking, can I do a wonder trade at like six o'clock? Well, I don't have anything right now to wonder trade. I've given out all of the Chimchar from last week, but I'm currently working on breeding up Pokemon for the prizes for tomorrow night's Pokemon Ultra Sun Wi-Fi battles. So if you want to see something special there, which I do not yet have the thumbnail ready, but I'll probably work on that at some point, I will get that ready to roll. All right, let's get destroyed in a versus match with our new deck. I have a message. No, I have products received. Whatever, we know about that. All right, let's go with our standard deck. Nope, I said standard. There we go. And where is our CS? Uh, it's expanded. Right, never mind. I'm putting in older... Is it? It must have older cards then. Am I missing something? Where is it? I'm not doing any battles just yet. I'm going to take this into some random opponents. Where is my deck? Alright, not collection. Go to deck manager. I saved it, right? Maybe because I don't have a favorite. It wasn't popping up. That's probably what happened. Alright, let's see. There we go. Alright. So this should still be standard, I think? It is standard. Okay. So, let's see... Actually, before I start this up, I'm going to give you another code from Celestial Storm so you guys have more to work with. I'm going to put this on screen under the face cam so one of those, whoever types the quickest, can get this code for themselves. I might have to fix the... No, the text is working right now. Sweet, I'm going to unload and reload it. Okay, so one sec here. I'm giving you one more code for the time being. Thanks for sticking with me during the live deck building. It was a little quicker than I usually do, but I'm trying to move along quickly and I want you guys to be too bored as I'm just throwing some random cards together in a very haphazard sort of way a very busted deck that does not work but boom there you go celestial storm code I'll keep that code for a QR scan in ultra sun later on and as you guys scramble to grab that code I'm jumping in to my first battle let's see how quick I get destroyed and to be honest, I don't even care if I do, because we're just playing and just learn some of these uh, new cards and stuff. That's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. Let's get a different song. <coughs> uh, I'm going to go with... Let's go Team Plasma. All right. Flip the coin. We got Sunshiny Juzez, or Juzez. I'm not sure. Uh, we get to go first. Hey, we got the Reggie Rock. We got Fighting Energy, too. We just need a tool. We do have N, at least. That's good. I'll try to get caught up on the chat here as well. Uh, let's see. Hello to Beacon Beacon. Welcome back, Beacon Beacon. You were here... When were you here last time? I remember the name. And... Beacon Beacon got a new Sceptile deck when it came in along with four packs. Good stuff. What do you think of the theme deck? Because I do want to... Oh, we got an EX. Because I do want to get the... Uh, Oh, we got Cynthia here, too. I'm going to play Cynthia. I want to get the two theme decks at the end of the stream and see what I can do with those. Hey, get another Reggie Rock. We get a Skitty as well. And that's that. Okay, so Shatter Shot does 30 times the amount of Psychic Energy attached. If I can get that uh, 
Ancient Crystal, that would help us out quite a bit. I don't see it happening, but we'll see. All right, Fighting Fury Belt, I don't like that. That's 40 damage. That's not fair. We've got Burning Energy. So the next turn they can do 70, which we will survive. So what I'm going to do is this. Show that to Regirock. I'm going to go for the Enhanced Stomp of a mere 20. We don't have a tool attached to it just yet. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just slightly dying once again. Oh, they're only going for the uh, 40 damage again. So one more will drop us. Another Torchic. I don't want a Torchic. I'm going to put Burning Energy onto the uh, Torchic. I'm now going to Energy Switch. Let's get this Fighting Energy off of Regirock in the active spot. Put it to the bench one. We're going to let that one fall, and hopefully this one comes up in the active spot and can do something. If I can get one more Fighting Energy, we can do the Enhanced, or the, uh, the Hammer Arm. We'll send it up. We'll let it take a hit. We'll see what happens. Looks like Beacon Beacon Gut, Deoxys Hollow pretty cool. Alright, didn't get the energy we needed, but we have Super Scoop up to make use of. I'll give this to Torchic. Let's just go with... I'm gonna play the Torchic here, actually. Go with the Enhanced Stomp, 20. That's it. I can take the code off screen, because someone must have claimed it by now. Boop, there it goes. Okay. So we see Salandit on the bench, we see Elgium as well. Do you think we'll manage to pull through and get a win? I really doubt so. Pokemon Center Lady! Come on, Lady, get out of here. So again, we're in the same spot. We will survive one more if I get another Psychic Energy attached. Let's go with Energy to Mudkip. Do the Enhanced Stomp of 20 plus. Nothing, because we have no tool yet. The Sceptile deck is great. Its attack does 20 damage times the number of energy attached to it for one Grass Energy. That's not bad. Of course, you want to add more energy if possible. Oh, no, we have the invasion of the Dawnwings Necrozma. Hey, check this out. We can get more Fighting Energy. I'm going to get one. I just want to hit this thing as hard as I can before our Regirock does fall. <coughs> Excuse me. Or should I try the Scoop Up? I'm going to take a chance. Let's try Scoop Up. I didn't think so. Alright, Regirock, you're going down, but you did your best, buddy. Hammer Arm for 100. Let's discard the top card of that deck. So long, Energy. That could have hurt us. <laughs> oh, well. Regirock is done. We have a Hoopa. Hyperspace Punch and Portal Strike. Would you stop healing? See, when opponents heal, it's the worst thing in the world. When I heal, it's fine, but... It's no good when they do it. Torchic's taking a hit. Let's see what we get. Nest Ball. Let's go, Regirock. In you go. All right. Hmm. What if we could lock out, get another Cynthia or an N, and get Rare Candy Swampert? That's not likely. Hello to Ernesto Rivera. Welcome to our stream as we're getting destroyed with our first attempt stop healing with some more or some new cards from celestial storm hey torchic takes the hit energy recycle system we'll keep that for the moment i think what do you do you could paralyze let's give this to uh, skitty Watch us have to rely on Skitty to uh, stall things out here. Hello to the Blake Street Show. Welcome back to the channel. We're doing our first day coverage of Celestial Storm, in which I have nothing much to work with, and we're fighting a Mewtwo EX. <coughs> and I'm slightly dying. Hey, we got a switch card. No need. We're going to paralyze this thing. Fake out. I dropped my mouse. Perfect. It's not perfect. They have that invasion of the Dawnwings of Crowsma. Unless they... Wait, they have double colorless. Okay, they're going to retreat. I'm going to say, unless they get a float stone, they're stuck. Never mind. They can't attack, right? No, they can't. Here comes the Hoopa. So, 20 damage to two of my Pokemon, I believe. Leave my Torchic alone. He did nothing yet. 
We don't have any psychic Pokemon. Friend Ball's useless. I don't have anything that needs to discard cards, though. One of the opposing Pokemon in play, yeah. So I didn't put any psychics in the deck. But let's paralyze this thing. Come on. Heads. Rats. Hit me for another 20. I'm trying, Jesus. I'm trying not to die. Oh, you mean me, not the game. All right. Yeah. In real life, I'll be fine. But in game, I can't quite say the same. You just love hitting that Torchic, don't you? Does Rescue Stretcher even help us? Not really. I'll hang on to that, though. So we're going to fake out again. Give me the heads. Give me the heads when it counts. So Skitty does fall. Torchic is going to take one more punch, and then it falls as well. Wait a minute. Oh, you're leaving Torchic alone. Hmm, let's send Regirock, because we have Switch. Skyla. That does not help us, really, but... I'm going to play her. I'm going to play her to get Cynthia. Or actually, wait one sec. No, we're going to get N. Where you at, N? Help us out here. <coughs> so I can't play it this turn, but next turn... Oh, you're in for a doozy. We're going to shuffle them down to, like, uh... Two cards. We got Salazzle powering up. That'll be a bit of an annoyance. Come on, hang in there, Torchic. So now as we get a we're gonna make some crazy plays. I am going to switch. Let's send Torchic up immediately. We're gonna we're now gonna end. I'm gonna play the Mudkip first. Let's get that out of my hand. Hmm. I'm going to energy recycle system. I'll put a basic energy back into my hand. Let's grab a fire. I'm banking on getting a rare candy and a come or the uh, blaze GX. We'll give this to Torchic. Just because I know it'll burn it out of my hand. I'm going to play friend ball. Nothing to be found. That's acceptable. I'm now also going to rescue stretcher. Put a Pokemon from the discard pile back into hand. I'll grab, I guess. Hey, Regirock, how's it going, buddy? We'll grab you, we'll bench you. That way, I'm going to be getting six fresh cards with N. Come on, give me what I need. That ain't what I needed, man. Whoa, Acrobike might give us what we need. I don't have rare candy. Ah! It almost worked out, though. Uh, let's get the uh, rescue stretcher. Goodbye, Blaziken. And hey, let's put this down. <laughs> the uh, Shrine of Punishment. And let's nest ball for the only basic left in the, de or the uh, deck there. And it's live coal for 20. Yeah. And the punishment. Yes, take that, you guys on the bench. So Hyperspace Punch does drop Torchic. It all comes down to Mudkip at that point. Trying to get as much damage across the board as they can. Alright, come on. We need Rare Candy. This is it. What does Naive Nature boost? That... Offhand, I do not know. Check this out, though. I'm about to de get destroyed. I'm going to look for Water Energy. Oh, there's one. Boom. So, Naive Nature, I'm going to grab my phone. Where are you at? I'll find out while I'm getting destroyed here. Okay, Google. Pokemon Nature Naive. Uh, let's see. Nature. Aw, oh, man, we can't do anything. We're donezo. I'm gonna retreat. I'm gonna punch you. I'm gonna install. I'm gonna enhance stomp you. That's it. Uh, naive nature. Mechanics. Where are they? List of natures. Here we go. Naive. Ops speed. Drop special defense. Oh, it's gonna hurt. 130. Yeah. So that's our first attempt. We're done. <laughs> But wasn't that fun, though? Look at our MVP, Regirock, right there. Can we get a zoom up of that guy? No, we can't. Never mind. 
I want to try one more random battle. Because we got Buzzwool backing us up here. <coughs> we got a pure water deck. That's not good for Blaziken. However, Swampert might have an okayer time with this. We'll take the first turn once again. I think after this, yeah, I'm going to pick up the, uh, the theme decks. Ooh, we got Regirock again. Nice. We got Skyla. We got Timer Ball. We got Skiddy. We're weak to grass. That's perfect. I didn't think that uh, to check and see if we're weak to water. In fact, while I'm doing this, I'm giving us another code card. I'm crazy like that. I'll put this one in the chat, though, so it's just a simple copy-paste. Okay, let me take my first turn, and then, as my opponent takes their turn, I'll get ready to... Oh, we got Articuno. Oh, Combuskin. So that being the case, I might want to get... Well, first, let's do Timer Ball. Can we get the uh, Delcaddy? Ooh, yes, we got an evolution. Delcaddy will take you. Which means when I play Skyla, I can bring her back. I'm going to use you to get a Nest Ball. Do I want to bank on getting Blaziken, though? Yeah, I'm going to do it. We're going to get the Nest Ball. We're going to use that to find a Torchic. We're going to get some energy. Actually, when I do evolve into Delcaddy, I can use or get Skyla back and get a Professor's Letter. I think I put that in. Swampert is OP. You plan on buying that deck next? Awesome. All right, I'm going to put in the chat this next code. Oh, we see Lily. Uh-oh. So if everybody, sorry, if anyone else is playing TCG Online right now, how are things going for you? All right, so we're going to give this code out. I'm going to give another couple codes before the end of the stream, though. Oh, Beacon, I just sent it out. I'm sorry. But we'll do another couple codes before the end of the day, though, so don't worry too much about it. Oh, we see the Lapras GX. Okay, but that does let us use the Friend Ball this time. Let's get us a Mudkip. Let's get the Water Reserve Mudkip. All right, we'll drop you down. It's too bad I can't find any energy with this. If it's, you know, just water energy is not so good. But it is kind of reminiscent of the Find Ice Attack. <coughs> okay, so it's kind of a waste to use Dalcaddy now, since I'm only getting one Supporter card back. But I kind of want to get Skyla. Oh, we got Big Bad Guzma in the house. The song is up. Uh, uh. Alright, so we're going to... We're going to start powering up Combuskin, I guess. Let's get some basic fire energy. If I get the energy for Regirock, we can't even hurt this thing because of resistance. And that is that. If I can find myself a Super Scoop Up, that'd be great take back this Delcaddy and try to play it down again. Uh-oh. Lapras is getting prepared. If I can get N right now, that'd be awesome. That would shut down all of this uh, find ice support they have here. Don't see that happen anytime soon, however. We did get the Blaziken! You know what? I'm just gonna go for broke. Let's get you up there right now, buddy. Let's start doing some slashes. Oh, wait. I can do the Blaze out GX. Discard two energy from the opposing Pokemon. Which would slow them down. I might do that next. Yeah, they're getting that Lapras powered up. I don't like that. More find ice. Alright, perfect turn this turn would be to give me an N. Shuffle their hand away. And take out the energy off that Lapras. Of course, it doesn't happen that way. But let's go ahead and slow them down a bit. Blaze out GX. Discard these two energies right there. That's our GX for the turn, for the game, actually. So one more hit can take down the Articuno. They would need to have three turns to power up this Lapras GX once again. This being turn one right here. <coughs> Excuse me. They can retreat now, though, and go for Collect. Or they could just heal. That could be an option as well. Beacon's game is buffering too much. Ah, sorry to hear that. So, what's your HP? 190. I'm going to keep this energy for now. If I can manage to bring this up before it destroys us, I can attach one energy, explosive kick, and knock it out. What if we find Guzma? Actually, what if we find Guzma? 
I'm gonna give this to Delcaddy for now for retreat purposes. Let's go with the slash. If I can get Guzma and I get one more energy. No, I don't even need one more energy. I just need to get Guzma. Because I can play Guzma, bring up the Lapras, I can retreat into Delcaddy, retreat for the one energy, use the energy recycle system to bring the energy back, attach it to Blaziken, and do the explosive kick for 210. Come on, Guzma! This is what the game's all about. Playing chess, you gotta think several steps ahead. And I'm banking on getting that one card. It's not likely to happen. But if it does, this will be amazing. It is a pretty nice card, isn't it, Sailor Pika? Look at that thing. That's awesome. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. Oh, how does this happen? What? Did we really just do that? <laughs> oh, sweet. That was a turn for the ages. And that's the power of being a professor, everybody. It's called random, blind, dumb, stupid luck. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, we're not over yet, though. This thing's powering up on the bench, though. It can do 200, which we would survive, fortunately. Okay, burning energy, that's definitely going on there. We got Swampert. And let's go ahead and Fisherman. Actually, wait, check this out. I forgot we have our draw support now. Power draw. We're going to do that. We're going to discard the Rescue Stretcher and draw three new cards. After bike is good, we've got Wishful Baton. That's going to be good. We'll give that to Blaziken GX. Hmm. Let's play Mudkip. What do we have for energy discard? Just that one fire? No, we'll get two fire. Let's, uh... Let's acro bike. <coughs> Excuse me. Energy switch. We don't really need that right now. I'm gonna grab the fighting energy. Okay, we can't play that just yet, so we're just gonna go with the... Slash, which does knock this out. And they're going to need one more. Oh, never mind. No, they can do this. Ah, oh, they can do 200 to me now. And Beacon did get the code card. Awesome stuff. Glad to hear it. Hopefully you get something amazing out of that pack. All right, let's take the 200 damage. If we can get one fire energy, though, we can explosive kick once again and take this thing down. Oh, it's so cold. The freezing wind. And I think I know a way to get fire energy. Actually, I know a perfect way to get fire energy. Fisherman. Explosive kick attack. And they give up. <laughs> they are done. I can't believe that perfect turn happened. Like I said, that was just random dumb luck. And I'm all like, I'm banking on top deck in one card. I happen to do it. I'm happy with that. In fact, I'm so happy. It's time for another code card, folks. It's going under the face cam. Let's drop this. I feel like I should start doing like a highlight reel on the channel whenever something crazy like that happens. I'm just going to drop the whole stack of cards, apparently. That's all well and good. All right, another booster pack of Celestial Storm coming your way here, folks. I'll probably just go a little bit longer. I'm going to get the, uh, the two theme decks. I want to see what those have to offer. I'll take a look at them first before we're actually purchasing them. We'll talk a little bit about some strategies behind them. Okay, so this seems good to go. Take this over to Pokemon TCG Online and grab that for yourselves. Get a nice booster pack of Celestial Storm. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Sailor Pika. That was a pretty lucky pull. Lucky top deck, but it pulled through. Who would have thought we would... And listen to the music! The Guzman music was playing. That's why that happened. It all synced up perfectly. Especially since in Ultra Sun, he becomes kind of pretty much sort of a good guy. Beacon Beacon, you got Kartana. It's an Ultra Beast. See, but it's all good. It's... Okay. It's not all good. It's kind of hard to use. It only works when the opponent has six prizes. As soon as they knock out Kartana, they ain't got six prizes left. But you could technically combine that with Nihilego GX and add more prizes with the Absorption... Absorption? 
Nope, that's Buzzwole. Symbiont GX attack. You can add more prizes to try to get them back up to six at some point. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I might end off in a little bit. Are we going for about an hour, though? That's not too bad. But let's check out these decks. I'm a fan of Swampert. Let's see what Swampert has to offer. All right, so we get... Ooh, Snover and Obama Snow. We got Skitty and more Delcaddy. These will be trade locks. I'm going to use my tokens to get them. Uh, we got Dunsparce. We got Slugma. What's my cargo do? Smooth over. Once during your... Ooh, once during your turn, you may search your deck for a card. Shuffle your deck, then put the card on top. That is... Like Mallow. Except just one card but that is that works so well with where are you swampert the power draw draw three cards okay i like that this is cool you got furfru which is also good you get to draw till you have five in hand so if you've already used the smooth over that's a good way to get that card you're looking for and we got frost rotom with roto motor you're kind of there to take hits i can tell you right now we got Switch, we got Lure Ball. I don't have this in the online game yet, but I like this. Flip three coins for each heads, put an evolution Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand. I like how everything that has to do with fishing seems to be coming back from the discard pile. Fisherman brings back your lost energies, Lure Ball brings back your lost evolved Pokemon. We got Nest Balls, Ultra Balls, Timer Balls, Escape Rope, Tate and Liza, which we don't have yet. Choose one. I love the choice options. Shuffle your hand into the deck, then draw five cards. Or switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. Definitely some good options. We got How, we got the Apricorn Maker, the Masked Royal, which, like I said in the pre release video, I don't know how useful he's gonna be. But we'll just let him do what he does. We got Lee, or sorry, Lily and Lady. Wait one sec. Wait one sec. Do you think? Do you think? No, different not different eye color. Never mind. I was going to say, do you think the lady is Lily from the future? She could have some uh, colored contacts. Because, yeah, remember in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, or even regular Sun and Moon, when she goes to the Haoli City Shopping Center, they give her the lens case for being the 99,999th customer. But she gives it to the player character because she already has a lens case. Those are colored contacts. Lady is Lily from the future. Hashtag confirmed. All right, let's get this. Actually, before we get it, never mind. We're gonna get it. I want this deck. We'll confirm this up. All right, let's go ahead and test this out in a theme deck versus. <coughs> Excuse me again. I'll slightly die a little bit, but I should be better by next time. It was Hydro Fury right here. Let's give this a shot. Beacon Beacon Sand. I love how they have promo cards from the pre-release kits in the theme decks like Delcaddy. It is really cool, like, you know, they're not printed with the pre-release logo, I'm pretty sure. Oh, we're up against Garchomp. You gotta love Garchomp. But it's not printed with the pre-release logo, I don't think, but it is still a useful card. So they get to go first, which means they can't Ascension right away. And we have Dunsparce. So, strike and run. That might be good for our first turn. If we can get... Oh, we can get energy with Lady. Would you stop? 15 seconds. That's plenty of time. i got to talk about stuff. All right, we're going to drop Slugma. We'll drop Snoover. And that's it. That's all our basics. <laughs> Lily is Lady confirmed. I know, right? I mean, they put all the, the clues and the, the, the breadcrumbs in there. You just got to follow them. It's like the Da Vinci Code of Pokemon. Hello, Gibble. Do you happen to have a Gabite in hand? You probably do. Because on your first turn, you can play... No, you... Actually, no, you can't play a Gib or Gabite just yet. So we have a moment to do something. All right. Lady, help us out. Let's grab a bunch of water. We'll grab one fire in case we need that. Let us... I'm going to attach the fire. I'm now going to use a timer ball just to sort of thin the deck out a little bit. A very little bit. So now, let's strike and run. Uh, strike and run. Search your deck for up to three basic Pokemon, put them onto the bench, then shuffle the deck. If I do put any Pokemon on the bench, I switch Dunsparce with one of them. So, who do I want to put out? Furfru would be good for draw support. Definitely want to get a Mudkip. And... Skitty. So if we get Delcaddy, we can bring back, bring back some supporter cards. Alright, Furfru, get up there. Oh, I may switch. Oh, I thought I had to. Anyway, we're going to switch anyway. Furfru, you get up there. 
Not going to help us that much because our hand is already at 5, which I didn't think about. But we'll see what happens. Alright, do we see the Ascension into Gabite? Yes, we do. Question is, do they have the Garchomp in hand? Because if they do, we're probably donezo. The Masked Royal. No help whatsoever. Alright, let's get Marsh Stomp down. We don't have anything to make use of here. I'm going to hang on to the Obama Snow for now. Or no, if I play it, I can at least draw another card. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's do that. We're going to play Obama Snow, despite the fact that we're not going to get to use the ability. We're going to return for a whopping 20, but draw one more card, which might help us. Not bad. I could use a new hand. Unknown Spike saying, let's do battle between the new cards and the old cards. Uh, I don't think I want to do that, because I'm going to use just the new cards today. If I'm up against nothing but older cards, I'm devastated. I'm destroyed. I am beaten. I don't think I want to do that, to be honest. Maybe in a future stream, though, of course, when I start doing some more of the uh, more strategic deck building. All right, Tate and Liza, help us out. We're going to have to shuffle away. Draw five. Give us something good to work with. We got a Lily, which we can't use. We can't do anything except do 50 damage. I mean, 20 damage. Even worse. But, let me think here. They can hit me for 100. They don't even need to play Cynthia. They're going to play Cynthia. Which is kind of good, though. They had a minimal amount of cards in hand anyways. Hmm... So if we're lucky, this Dunsparce could paralyze, because as soon as our Furfru does fall, Dunsparce comes up next as I still try to prepare the bench. And I can do a measly 10, but, <clears throat> excuse me, could cause paralysis. If we can get super, super lucky and get a Swampert, then I can start bringing that up next turn and start dishing up the serious damage. Hello, good buddy! We got us a Swampert, folks. Let's go ahead and power up. We're going to use the Nest Ball. And what one do we want to put down? How does this work? Is that a benched Pokemon? No, one of your Pokemon. So we're going to get a Snover. What did you miss, Beacon Beacon? Not too much. We're doing a theme deck battle. I'm using the Swampert deck for starters. And uh, we're seeing what we can do against a Garchomp, Mock Strike deck. Hey, Delcaddy. That could help us. I'm going to use the Power Draw. Let's discard the Snover. Draw three fresh cards. There's a Flash Flood Warning where you're at. Well, that takes precedence, I will say. Even if you're here having fun watching the stream, make sure you're safe. You can always watch the stream afterwards once the uh, archive goes up. Sudden Flash. Ten. Paralysis. Excellent stuff. No. No, no, no. <coughs> Excuse me. However... It is at 100 HP remaining. You can go ahead and take down our Dunsparce. If you do, Swampert comes and ruins your day, Garchomp. Or should I say... <coughs> Garchomp. See, I can act all big and tough and mighty when I don't care what's on the line. There's no stakes in this. We're all just having some first turn, first day adventures with our Celestial Storm cards. The Lucario, or eventual Lucario, getting prepared. There's the Royal Blades. Okay, then. Swampert, do your thing, buddy. Let's throw an energy onto you. And now, let us go into Delcaddy. What do we want? I might want to get a new hand. Let's get Tate and Liza and Lily. I think we have plenty of energy as it is. Okay. So I'm going to play Tate and Liza. We're going to shuffle away. I know I'm losing a number of cards, but I'm okay with that. If we can get a, uh, a Bomb of Snow, that would be great. Not that we need the extra damage, but we're going to do the extra damage. One more energy from the discard pile to the Swampert. Let us play... Do we have any more Delcaddy in the deck? I don't think we do, but I'll play Skitty anyway. Hydro Pump for a whopping Power Draw. Let's drop Kakui. We're doing plenty of damage as it is. Oh, listen to this. We got the music. We're doing 160 with a Hydro Pump. 
get out of here, Garchomp. We don't like you around here. Unless I'm using you. Then you're okay. Yeah, we've got no paralysis beacon, sadly, on that flip. But not that it really mattered. I knew uh, Dunsparce's time was limited regardless, so... We're good with what we got here. Okay. So the Riolu could now do 30. Unless you evolve, you can do 90 with the Missile Kick, I believe. This Gumshoes is going to run away with everybody else. Did we just have the Mock Strike deck forfeit against us? I will take that any day of the week. I'll also take this. 50 more tokens. That's I gotta start doing some more battles too to get some more tokens to replenish all of our uh, our token stock. Wait, 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 we're getting some more stuff. What's in the mystery box? Swampert is OP. You see that beacon? This is a cool deck. I like this one. Alright, let us pop that open first. And I'm gonna buy the Swamp or the uh, Sceptile deck and see what that has to work with. Oh, I wanna open more. But those are going to be tradable, so I want to hang on to those. I could open these bundle packs, though. But first things first. Look at all these extra booster packs I got. Trade locked. Uncommon chests. How many? We're going to get... I'm going to predict five tokens and an uncommon stage one. No, it's a rare. I got five tokens, though. Let's see. This could be a GX. Could be a full art. It is. Tangro. And we're done. Have a good day. Just kidding. All right, we got Tangrowth, Giga Drain, 30, and you heal from this Pokemon the same amount of damage that you did. Crosswise, Whip, flip four coins, 50 for each heads. That could be, on a lucky break, 200 damage. All right, let's get the Sceptile deck. Let's see what you have to offer. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I like this. Both these decks feature the Obama Snow, the different typings, though. I like that. Beacon Beacon once got Steelix EX out of one, one of the uh, uncommon chests, while your sis pulled a Mega Charizard EX. Really? <laughs> I would say you could be jealous. That's a pretty good pull. Okay, we got Electric, we got Chinchou. Oh, I want this! The Manectric! We've talked about this. I'm gonna have to hiccup and burp a bunch. Electric start if you go second, which I'm gonna do with this deck. If Manectric is in hand, I can play it as my active or a bench Pokemon. Nice. Of course, we're going to have the Sceptile. And what do you do? Power of Nature. Whoa! Prevent all damage done to your Pokemon that have any Grass Energy attached to them by attacks from your opponent's Ultra Beasts. Powerful Storm 20 times. 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to all of your Pokemon. I thought it was just Sceptile. That is good. And with the extra energy attaching of Manectric and Obama Snow's Blessings of the Frost, this could stack up pretty fast. We have some good support as well. I'm getting this one. The Leaf Charge. Look, I burned through 3,000 tokens today. Look how fast that can happen. But again, anyone that's not familiar with Pokemon TCG Online, these are all free tokens that I've won just by playing the game over you know the past several months. So you don't need to spend real money to do this. This is really awesome. All right, so Leaf Charge. We're going to test you out. Where are you at? Yeah, Sceptile is pretty amazing, Beacon Beacon. Thank you for giving me the heads up. Another Mock Strike deck. Let's see if the new set can hold up. I want to go second. Wait. I clicked heads. I thought I was clicking the wrong thing. Can I go second, please? Come on, Pokemon. Let me go second. Oh, the suspense is killing me. Also, so is my cold. Come on, oh, we went first. <sighs> At least we didn't, we didn't even start with the uh, my next right there. Hello as well, Pokemon 919. All right, let's lead Trico. We got experience share. We've got Oranguru Chinchou. Okay, okay. And just think, Sceptile could do extra damage to Swampert because of the type disadvantage as well. The super effectivity of grass versus the Swampert card. Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. They probably want to go second with this deck because... Yep. Gibble. Oh, now you give me my neck trick. So let's go ahead and nest ball. We'll get electric. Just so I can start speeding things up a little bit. I'm going to attach... Does it really matter? I'll give this to electric. 
And we'll put this on Trico. I can now use Oranguru's Instruct. I hope I get second next time. That'd be nice. Uh, Ultra Ball. I'm not using that. I want to keep Manectric. So my strategy is, next turn, I'm going to attach the Grass Energy onto Trico, retreat it. Electric comes up, evolve to Manectric. I can use Instruct, of course. Manectric can then start using the uh, Double Charge. i got to get some energy in hand to do that, though. Looker! Looker what this guy's doing. There's not many people talking in the chat, but that's okay. This is a pretty, like, it's not a super competitive, gotta be here and see everything happen kind of day. This is good. Let's attach to the Trico. We're gonna retreat. Retreat-o the Trico. Evolve to Manectric. I can evolve to Grovile. Can't use the Ultra Ball just yet, but let's use the Instruct. Draw two more cards. Tate and Liza. That could be useful. Let's go ahead and Tate and Liza. Shuffle the hand and draw five. I want more energy, is the thing. Hopefully they are just enjoying the content, just uh, watching things that are happening. I say, smile face, thank you. Drop a Snover, evolve a Lantern, put another Trico down, or I could Ultra Ball. Let's do that. Ultra Ball. Let's get us a Grovile. I mean, Sceptile. There we go. <coughs> if only Garchomp was an Ultra Beast, eh? Can't play it just yet. I can do 40 damage. We're not going to really do anything else. We can't get any energy attached. Unfortunately, Tate and Liza betrayed us, but oh well. And Sailor Pika, I make you want to try the TCG online, do I? Well, I kind of like hearing that, too, because that's kind of part of what I like to do. Like, I like a lot of things about Pokemon. There's Pokemon Go, of course, the Ultra Sun battles. TCG is a big thing as well, and that's kind of how I got into doing YouTube in the first place. That was uh, my first real... You know, I had a channel set up. I was just doing simple little, like, you know, like AMV kind of things and stuff like that, and... Uh, one sec. Actually, I'm going to evolve into Sceptile. I will rescue Stretcher, bring back the Trico, and I will bench it. Then I get three new cards. So eventually I thought, I want to start putting more content out, because um, what really got me wanting to do stuff was Markiplier. I would watch his stuff. I just love seeing how interactive he was with his, his viewers and stuff like that. And hang on, we're going to do 40 damage, I believe. Yeah, so it's going to do 40 damage as it is right now with double charge. And boom. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so watching Markiplier, I saw how he had a community built up, and he really liked just working with people, and the fact he does, like, charity and stuff like that. And I thought, I want to try and do stuff like that. And I had to sit and think, what do I know enough of to really have regular content on YouTube? And, you know, I had just recently started being a professor at the Heroes Beacon Pokemon League, and I realized I know Pokemon, so I could do stuff like that. My channel initially was like one episode per week, and every week it'd be like, do I want to do video games, do I want to do TCG, yada yada yada. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Well, I can retreat for now. I can do 40 damage right now with Powerful Storm. That saves our Manectrike for some more energy attachments. And so eventually I realized, yeah, Pokemon I can do. And then as the channel built up and people wanted to see more, I started doing like a regular routine of, okay, this day we'll have TCG. The next day we'll do the Ultra Sun and stuff like that. And I like the thought that I can sort of, like if someone likes mainly just say TCG, they come to the channel and they hang out in the chat during the Wi-Fi battles of Ultra Sun. That makes them be like, maybe I want to try the Ultra Sun game or Pokemon Go. Maybe they want to try Pokemon Go and start catching things in the real world. So it's kind of cool to... Uh, start spreading the love of Pokemon a little bit more. It's kind of funny, yeah, Beacon Beacon. I saw your name and I recognized that we have, uh, our Pokemon League is called the Pokemon League at the, <coughs> excuse me, at the store called Heroes Beacon, which is really kind of funny. Alright, let's get ready to evolve Abomasnow. We're going to do Blessings of the Frost, attach a discarded grass energy to this Trico. Since we only need one on the Sceptile to do damage, and we're doing more damage from all the energy on my side, I'm going to Powerful Storm for 120 thanks to Weakness. Down goes their first Pokemon. <coughs> Excuse me, and How comes up. So, this is weak. Or sorry, it's only three or th 30 HP remaining. Stop putting Bench Pokemon down. I want to get 
uh, escape rope. Bring up that guard jump once again. And hello to Matt. M M M M Matt. Mijatovic. Did we just have another fail of forfeit of m m mock strike? I love this Celestial Storm expansion. People are afraid of it. Yay! That was cool. All right, Rayquaza GX and Victavolt with Raichu and Tapahulu GX is a nice combo. I haven't seen Rayquaza GX yet. In fact, thank you, Matt. You just made me realize. I want to take a look at all the GXs in this new set. But yeah, we just seen both theme decks successfully take on the Mock Strike deck, which was is still a powerhouse in TCG as far as theme decks go. We got 75 tokens. I'm loving this. I should eventually go into an event and show you the tournament, but not today. I think we'll kind of end it here in just a moment, but I'm going to take a look at the GXs of the set. Let's go to the collection. And uh, Markiplier is a very inspiring, not just YouTuber, but just like a guy in general. Just like, you know, a lot of stuff that he does, I'm just there eating it up with a spoon, basically, if it was a physical bowl of soup or something like that. All right, let's go to Pokemon. We're going to do the filters. We're going to say Celestial Storm. Pokemon GX. Oh man, I can only see two of them. Wait a minute. Let's show not owned. Let's see what we have to work with in the future videos here. Manextra attack really adds up the deck. It does, yeah. If you can get energy in hand, then you can just start attaching more of it, and Sceptile just powers up so fast. That's very awesome. So, Rayquaza GX. We'll take a look at that one first because Matt has mentioned it. Where are you at, Rayquaza? You're in the colorless. Oh, you're a dragon, actually. <coughs> Stormy wins. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may discard the top three cards of your deck. If you do, attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to this Pokemon. It's kind of bad you're losing stuff, but it might help out with some other Pokemon. Dragon Break for a Grass, Lightning, and Colorless does 30 times. 30 damage times the amount of basic Grass and basic Lightning energy attached to your Pokemon. All of them. This would go well in that theme deck, actually, with all the grass and lightning energy they have. Tempest GX, discard your hand and draw 10 cards. It's not terribly bad if you have like one card, or even if you have no cards. Technically, you're discarding the zero and drawing 10, so that would be really good. And you're saying it combines well with Vicavolt. Oh yes, because the strong charge, right. You're talking this, hang on. Strong charge. Once during your turn, before your attack, and this isn't the GX, this is the regular Stage 2 Vicavolt, you may search your deck for a Grass Energy card and a Lightning Energy card and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. This, plus one energy from hand, powers up Ray or, uh, Rayquaza GX already. That is pretty wild. That is a good combo. And you're saying Tapu Bulu as well. We'll take a look at that and see how that combines as well. <coughs> so, Nature's Judgment does 120. You may discard all energy from this Pokemon if you do, it does 60 more. Corn Attack for 30. Tapu Wilderness does 150 and heal all damage from itself. Very cool. I don't even think you need Tapu Bulu that much, though. You're saying Raichu as well, though, with a uh, nice energy boost as well. But yeah, I think, excuse me, just combining that Vicavolt with uh, da -da -da, Rayquaza GX is crazy powerful. Nice. Very good idea. And everyone is scared of me, you say, Sailor Pika. Well, we got lucky today, we'll say. I think maybe they're too unfamiliar with what the new decks are all about. We'll just call it that. But maybe it's a little bit about uh, the Charizard hat intimidating them. I didn't even mention this, but you know how I have the Charizard hat in-game? I got that with actual money. See, if you go to the shop, you can buy things for your character. Now, some things cost gen or sorry tokens i can get a pikachu collection you get three random pikachu avatar items like a hat a shirt shoes whatever and that's just for your in-game tokens you can get the charmander box or rather charizard box for 25 gems and gems are stuff you put actual money to get in the game and i just i had to get the charizard hat in game for my character i just could not do without so i put just a little bit of money into the game to get a few i got like 10 of these boxes and I finally, out of like the seventh box I opened, I got the Charizard hat. And I'm like, that's perfect. You can actually trade off the other items as well. Like, let's go to my collection. We'll take a look at the GXs again in just a moment. I got so sidetracked here. Let's go to Avatar. I'm going to look up Charizard. Really? What is it called then? 
It's called Charizard Collection. Anyways, yeah, see right here, Charizard hat. I can wear them. I could trade off the glasses, the shoes that I don't need. I got the shirt, all sorts of other stuff. I could trade these pants. I don't think I'm wearing those pants anytime soon. But I believe you would actually trade the... No, wait, that's just for female. Yeah, I don't need those. I could trade those out. But see, if you have a shirt that is male or female, then it would trade both as one item, I think. All right, I want to go back to the Pokemon. Let's look up the Pokemon GX again. Go for Celestial Storm, Pokemon GX, and see what we have to work with. And you only need uh, Vicavolt, but Rayquaza for trade needs Ultra N and some other Ultra cards. Oh, for trading. Oh, you mean so people want Rayquaza, right. So in the trade, people set up whatever trades they want to get, and they're probably asking for a lot for that Rayquaza. So you could either get lucky with pack openings, or actually a good thing to do if you're looking to get some extra trade support, go to your events. If you have trainer tickets or, you know, event tickets, even go into the theme deck challenge. And if you have the Mock Strike deck, that is a really good deck. If you go into the event, tell you what, we've never done this on the stream. I'm going to do a theme. I'm going to do a theme event. i got four tickets. I'm going to join right now. I want to use the Leaf Charge. Let's do this. So, these events are basically, you know, on demand. As it says, uh, welcome to events. On demand tournaments run daily anytime. Check the event info for further details. If I even just beat one opponent in this, I make sure to get third or fourth place. I'm getting 50 trainer tokens and one booster pack tradable of Celestial Storm. So, there's Mock Strike, as I said. So, if we, uh, if someone wants to trade a Rayquaza GX for a bunch of booster packs, this is a way to get some booster packs to do those trades. You can also set up your own trade, offer like maybe, say, 10, I don't know, random number, but 10 booster packs for one Rayquaza GX. If you've gotten a bunch of booster packs from these events, you got a pretty good way to go. you got some good options for trade. Let me go second. I want to go second. Please let me go second. I want to start with Manectric. We're going second, everybody! No Manectric. <laughs> well, at least we got Furfur, though. We can attack on our first turn. I can draw some more cards. It was well worth the real money indeed, Sailor Pika. But I need that Charizard hat. I'm not the Professor without it. Fortunately, I'm the Professor without the lab coat, because that's still on back order, as the old catchphrase does go. Alright, so Tate and Liza. I think I'll probably play you first turn. We gotta get that Garchomp shut down ASAP, because you know they're gonna probably start off with a uh, Gibble. And we got Chinchow for... You know, I'm actually gonna hang on to the Chinchow for uh, discarding the Ultra Ball. Or discarding with the Ultra Ball. Because the Ultra Ball says, discard two cards from hand. If you do, search your deck for any Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. So instead of playing the Chinchow down, I can discard it and get a better Pokemon. Something that's going to be more useful for us. <coughs> Excuse me. There's the uh, energy for the Ascension attack. Normally you can only play a Pokemon card from hand to evolve, but the Gibble's attack does say, search your deck for a card that evolves from this Pokemon and put it onto it. Now you can't attack on the first turn of the game, fortunately, so they can't evolve just yet. Gives us a little bit of time to work. I want better music. This is a nice contest music, but I want battle music. This'll do. The Aether Foundation grunt. Alright, the opponent is carefully deciding their next move. That's going to be to end the turn. Okay. So let's go ahead and play Ultra Ball. Don't think I need the Switch card. I'll discard Chinchou and Switch. Who do I want to get? I might as well start getting Trico ready to roll. So I'll play you down. I'm going to attach an energy to the Furfru for draw support. In fact, I could Rescue Stretcher and bring back the Chin Chow, but I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to play Tate and Liza. I'm going to choose the first option to shuffle my hand and draw five new cards. What do we get? We got Electrike, we got Chin Chow back again. I'm going to play everything down to thin out my hand a little bit, because now I can use Return for 20, get maximum draw support, three more cards added to hand, because I draw till I have five total. Yes, please. was hoping to find a um, Electric, to be honest, but... Oh, well. Alright, so do we see Gabite in hand? Do we see Lucario? If they have Gabite in hand, it also has the Ascension attack. We don't see it yet. 
So this gives it 60 HP. Or, I mean, 60 remaining HP. It's got 80 total. It still, still keeps the 20 damage. Nest Ball, what can you find for us? I might as well play Oranguru. Just in case I can get some more support on the draw. So let's... Experience share onto Trico. I'm going to... Attach to this Trico. Or no, I'm going to attach to Electric. I'm not going to use Return for 20 more. Let's hope I can find Manectric. Because if I get Manectric, it has that attack, which... Rats! Lets me get uh, more energy attached from hand every turn. So we're going to probably see the Garchomp. If not from hand, we will see the Ascension attack evolving it. There is Lucario powering up. There's the Ascension. Okay. They now have their powerhouse on the field. It has 110 hit points remaining. We got us a Grovile. I'm going to... Evolve this one. Alright, I'm now going to... Play Guzma, bring up this Gibble. I'll bring up Electric. <coughs> Essentially just to get a card out of hand. I'm going to also retreat back into Furfru. I'll attach an energy to Grovile. And let's now use Return for 20 and draw till I have 5 in hand. Two more cards being drawn up. Thank you very much. Copycat. Shuffle my hand and draw one card for each card in the opposing hand. That might not be bad. I'm going to play probably an energy from hand. I can then play Copycat, get right now four cards, play out whatever I can. I can use Instruct, get more cards, play those out if possible, and return to get myself back up to five. And there's the Precognitive Aura. All right, so the problem with Lucario. It's not a problem if you're using it. Once during your turn, the ability says, if you have a Garchomp in play, you may search your deck for a card, any card you want, and put it into your hand, and then you shuffle up. So that's definitely some good support. We don't even get to see what they took, either. So if they have an energy, they can retreat. Oh, they got a scape rope. Never mind. Well, Chin Chow, I think you can take this hit. Although, if Garchomp comes up, if they don't have an energy, they can attack anyone they want, because its ability, not its ability, the uh, first attack can do 50 to any of my Pokémon. Oh, okay, so they're going to power up the Lucario. So quick dive probably to the Grovile, yeah. Ah, suspected. We've got a Lantern here. Hmm. I'm going to... attach to Chinchow. I shall retreat into Grovile. I'm going to evolve into Lantern. I now have the Energy Grounding ability. When one of my Pokémon is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, I may move a basic energy from that Pokémon to Lantern. I've also got Experience Share, that if my active Pokémon gets knocked out, I can move a basic energy from it to the Pokémon holding Experience Share. Alright, let's play Copycat. Shuffle away. Draw three. We got another Grovile. I can now play that out. Use Instruct. Let's get one more card in hand. It's going to be a Snover. Can't use that. Leaf Blade for a potential 60 damage. Come on, heads. Yeah, 60. 50 HP remaining on the Garchomp. Now, do they hit the active Grovile for the knockout? Hello to Feelul. F-E-L-L. -L. Welcome. And Matt says, Lantern on Tapu Koko GX is a good combo. That is true, yeah, because Tapu Koko can absorb all this lightning energy. Go active. If it gets knocked out, you can move... A basic energy onto the lantern. And then, of course, if you get Top of Coco again, play it down. It can take lantern's energy back, go active. Good uh, synergy, good combo with those two. Alright, what do you got, Garchomp? Who are you hitting? <clears throat> Excuse me for having to clear my throat so much. See, this is where the, the fun strategy comes. Oh, Garchomp retreats. Ow! All right, then. All right, then. Choose an energy card to move. We'll go for Grass Energy onto the Grovile. They get a prize card for that. We're going to send up the Furfru for more draw support. 
We got our own Kikui right now, so let's play Snover down first. I shall attach energy onto Lantern, I guess. I can play Kikui right now. Do I want to? Yeah, I'll do it. If I can play out both cards, I can then use Oranguru once again. I can't play any of the cards. Great. Thanks, Kikui. At least we're going to do 40 damage and draw two more cards, though. Let's see what we can find. More basic energy. That's kind of not helping us, game. So they can jab me for 20. They can also retreat this thing. Garchomp can come back up and do 50 to anything that I have. Muck GX and Tox Effects with the ability and Charizard. Oh right, the ability it prevents does it prevent retreat from poison Pokemon, I think, that Tox Effects. And Charizard Volcanion, Victini with abilities are nice combos. Now what's kinda cool, are you talking the Volcanion with uh, the steam up? Or are you talking about the one so that's Volcanion EX? Or are we talking the one that can do uh, what's it called? Power Heater, I believe, that attaches energy to the uh, bench. Because there's a new stadium in this set, Sky Pillar, that prevents all effects done to both bench Pokemon, or both sides, which would prevent Power Heater from attaching energy, which is kind of an interesting little uh, thing they put in. Alright, let's give this... I see you dancing there. I'm going to give this to the Snover. Rescue Stretcher, I can get... I can shuffle stuff back in. I'm going to do that. Rescue Stretcher, we're going to shuffle three Pokemon back into the deck. Kind of bring back some support with our Trico and Grovile. Now do a basic 20, but draw one more. Come on, give me something good. Give me a Sceptile. Oh, that's not bad, though. Obama Snow. We have discarded Grass Energy. That can help us in a slight pinch. <coughs> Takui, did you get out of here? I mean, you're cool and all, yeah, but go away. So they're going to do 20 more damage right now. If they go for the Solar Heat, once again, and do not flip heads, we will survive. I gotta try to get this Garchomp up here and take it down. Is that not a coin flip? Oh, it's if you have a Stadium in play. Never mind. Alright, we're gonna move an Energy to... I guess Obama Snow. Because check this. I can't move to Obama Snow. What am I thinking? Look at the Grovile, then. So, Abomasnow is basically going to do its job when I play it down. I'll move you up here. How could help us out? Let's play How first, see what we have to work with. There is Manectric. I like that. Okay, so I'm going to attach to Manectric. I'm going to evolve to Abomasnow. We'll attach a Grass Energy from the discard pile to, I'm thinking, the Oranguru. And that's all we can do. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to leave Obama Snow active for the time being. But on the next turn, I can play Copycat. And I can draw a whole nice hand of currently nine cards. Because I shuffle my hand away, draw one card for each card in the opposing hand. That could give us the Sceptile we are looking for. Actually, they get even more cards. Yay. Of course, I'm uh, counting too many chickens before they're hatched. This match is still an uphill struggle for my side. I got six prizes left. They only got four. And that Garchomp is spooky, scary stuff. And the other one's going to become spooky, scary stuff once they start evolving that one up. Now, what are they going to grab? They're probably just going to grab a Gabite, I'm thinking. Come on, can this new deck of cards stand up to the Mock Strike power? Oh, retreat into the Lucario. One more does drop our Obama Snow, which is totally fine. I'll accept that. I'm not going to Kakui just yet. Because I'm not going to do any damage this turn. I will, in fact, get more cards by playing Copycat. <coughs> Excuse me once again. We see a Grovile. No Sceptile, sadly. So I'm going to play Trico. And that's actually all we can do. Would you look at that? However, we do have Manectric in hand, or sorry, on the bench. I can send that up after Obama Snow Falls, start getting some more energy acceleration. How is also here. And this could absorb a grass energy, which is pretty good. This actually works well because even though Lantern might not be using the energy to attack, 
by holding onto it, it allows Sceptile to power up even more. Which I am happy to see. So I don't need to attach any more energy to the Grove Isle. Oh, I didn't put another code in forever, did I? Hang on. Where's my stack? So after I take my turn, I'm going to give two codes out. I'll do one on screen and one in the chat. All right, let's do that there. We're going to send up Manectric. I got so wrapped up in playing the game, I have no clue what was happening outside of this. Okay, so we got Grove Isle. Throw an energy onto it. I shall... Play another Electric. I'm going to play How. Where is my Sceptile? Come on, game. Don't be like this. I'm going to attach two basic energy from your hand to one bench Pokemon. Alright, we'll go ahead and do the double charge of 40. I'll attach these two grass onto, I guess, the Grove Isle. Wait, what? Oh, now I choose. Okay. Alright, let's get a couple codes out here. Two more Celestial Storm codes since this is the uh, set of the day. Get this first one up here on screen. It's going to be under the face cam. Looks like the precognitive aura being done there. I can't really see what's happening. It's behind my view screen right now. And I think after this, I will call it a day for the stream because my back's starting to get kind of sore from sitting too much. i got to go lay down and rest it up a little bit. This little bit of back pain that creeps up every once in a while is pretty annoying. But it is what happens. All right, so there's the first code. Help yourselves. It's another Celestial Storm booster, and one more I'll type into the chat as our Manectric is about to fall thanks to weakness. We are weak to fighting. What was that? Was that... What was that tool? I didn't even see. Again, I'm too distracted. Oh, it was a skateboard! What? Okay, one sec. Now see, if I wanted to, I could have used the Mock Strike deck and destroyed this opponent. I have no question about that whatsoever, but I'm not going to stoop to their level. I don't like the Garchomp deck. It is annoying. Alright, there's another code for you. Alright, so we're going to move this onto the Lantern. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. I'll send this one up. Why not? Okay, give us something to work with. I was going to send up the electric, wasn't I? It's too late for that. Oh, no. But I'll play Snover. I'm now going to pl well, play the Manectric right now. I'll throw an electric energy onto it. And let's play Kakui. Come on, give us the Sceptile. Really? This game is kind of garbage sometimes, I'll tell you that. Oh, and I flip the tails. Yay. That's what I needed. There are seven cards left in my deck. I'm not doing Wonder Trades tonight. No, that was on uh, Thursday. Yeah, Thursday for the Chim Chart. And then, of course, we did the Wonder Trading on, what was it? Warp Ride Wednesday when the Battle Royals just didn't want to work for us. You're welcome for the code there, Matt. Hopefully you got something good out of it. Hopefully you're having a much better time with luck than I am with what's happening here. We get the Precognitive Aura. Look, they got 24 cards left in their deck. I got seven. How have I not found a Sceptile yet? There's two in here. You'd think it would have shown up by now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to... Uh, once Grovile falls, which it does, I'm going to bring up our Manectric, because we will knock this thing out at least. Let's move this. I'll put it to the sub Grovile. Oh, wait, we can still do another one. Right. Okay. So we can keep all this energy in play, which is kind of cool. Manectric comes up. That's what we needed. Let's go, Sceptile. Retreat Manectric. Play a Bomb of Snow. We'll throw a Grass Energy from the discard pile to one of our guys. I guess the Oranguru. I'll throw... Ah, phew, Lightning Energy on here. Now we're going to do some damage. 240. I was going to say, watch the other one be in the prize cards. 
heading out, Beacon Beacon. All right, well, thanks for tuning in for the uh, evening thus far, and hopefully you enjoyed checking out some new cards, even though it's not doing too well for me right now. But we could still pull through this with luck. Look, they were holding on to all those cards. Really? You could have been playing some of these down this whole time, but oh well. If only we had Guzma. So Lucario can hit us for 70. They didn't play Kakui, did they? Suda doesn't show you the order of cards that are played. They just show you a whole stack of... Uh... Or wait, can they do that? I think it does show the order, actually. I had stacked view clicked on. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. So I don't think they played a supporter card just yet. Solar Heat. Really? A whole 20? All right. Might as well play Chin Chow. We'll throw an energy onto it. I don't think we're going to win because they have this thing powering up there on the bench. But we'll do what we can. Oh, that was a lot of damage. That's a lot that we can do. 520. So this is always a good option for them to bring up. This escape board gives them one less retreat cost, which means they have to discard one less energy. Since Rio, sorry, Lucario has one energy cost in its retreat down here in the corner. That means it can retreat for no energy loss. They must not have the Garchomp. Hmm. So they can take me down now with this Missile Jab. And everything I have is weak to fighting so they can destroy anything so the match is now over sadly but we did the best that we could we gave it a good go let's just dish out as much damage as we can if nothing else we might have a uh, what is it, an online challenge to get some more damage done too nest ball all right so missile jab takes us down let's see if they just go for the kill yeah, well played. Not bad. I came back three prizes. Roll King asking, should I buy Celestial Storm packs or a deck? I would maybe recommend buy buy one of the theme decks first. Look, they're really going to play all these cards out. Hang on. Thank you for attacking when all you need to do is click the attack button and not play some cards. Isn't that lovely when people do that? Anyways, I would suggest maybe buy up one of the theme decks first because they are pretty good and you can take them into these online challenges and you gain tokens for doing it. Like, look at this. I got destroyed, but I still gained 25 tokens just by playing. So, by getting on a theme deck, you'll get all you know, sorts of new cards like that. You'll have access to start getting some more tokens and you can put them tokens into some new packs as well. So it almost... Oh, yeah, hey, look. We have a challenge for choking vines. I want to do this deck some more. All right, but that is, I think, going to be a wrap... Because I'm going to sort of go rest the back and rest the throat a little bit. But I want to give you guys a couple more codes to send out. First of all, I'm going to give you a Celestial Storm Build and Battle Box. This is one of the 22 card packs with a promo card included. And I'm also going to give another random booster pack as well. So I'll put in the chat first this time, I'm going to put the Battle Box. Just one sec here. Where's that code at? I'll get caught up on the chat. Someone's saying, please see how strong Mr. Mime GX is. Yeah, we took a look at that at the pre-release, and we'll talk a bit about that before we end off the stream here as well. Because it's kind of a crazy card. Not as overpowered as I first thought it was, because I was thinking that it would have a weakness to something, but we'll talk about that as well. All right, hello to Luis Hernandez. Just in time, as a couple of code cards are being tossed out into the chat for some Celestial Storm giveaways. This one is for one of the 22-card pre-built packs, plus a foil promo. And on the face cam, or under the face cam, I'm going to drop a booster pack code card. That's the wrong screen. One second here. There we go. All right. One more code to give out to end off our stream. And for everyone that hung out today, I want to say thank you for tuning in and seeing our first day's coverage <coughs> excuse me, of Celestial Storm. There's still much more to be seen, of course. And with this set, I want to get back to my routine of doing some pre-recorded videos where I custom build a deck to start off with and show you the strategy and take it into some online challenges. All right. Boom. There you go. That is a booster pack. Ten random cards, which might include a GX, might include some nice full arts, could include all that cool stuff. 
what do you know? So even though I lost, I still gained something from doing that. That was what? I got an uncommon chest, actually. Does it show that? I've got a message. It is Ahmad Pika. Is anybody there? Or, sorry. Is there anybody that can trade Scyther? Three of them with a, uh, is that Primarina, I believe? I don't have that many Scyther. I think I got just one from the random pulls today. And those are trade locked, unfortunately. All right, where was I going to go? Col not, not deck manager, collection. Let's go here. So, Mr. Mime GX. Listen to the creepy music, too. All right, Mr. Mime. I don't... I typed it wrong, but that's fine. I don't have a Mr. Mime. That's fine. Ooh, look at this. Rainbow. Now, let's look at his regular art. I kind of like that. So, the power of this card. Oh, Luis, you don't play Pokemon TCG. You just came to watch. Well, sadly, we are at the end, but hopefully... You can uh, go back and check out the rest of the stream as it happened and see how things went on my first day. We had a lot of ups and downs today. A lot more ups than I would have expected. It was really cool. I won a match with random pulls. And who did we beat? We beat a GX. We top decked a Guzma at the last second. It was awesome. All right, so Mr. Mime GX. The ability of magic evens. If you can't read what this says on screen, let me tell you. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's attacks if that damage is exactly 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, 240, or 260 damage. So if you do 270 and above, you're all well and good. If you're hitting this Mr. Mime GX with a 20 multiplied attack, as far as damage goes, you're not doing any damage to this thing. That's wild. Now, breakdown, it's not really offensive, but breakdown says for each card in the opposing hand, put one damage counter on their active Pokemon. If you could find some way to force them to draw cards, that could be good, but there's kind of minimal ways to do that. But Life Trick GX, heal all damage from this Pokemon. So even if you do take, for example, 130 damage, one energy of any type, you can heal yourself of all that damage. Now, if they were able to do one third of the last turn, they can probably do it again the next turn, but maybe they can't. We might get lucky, but it's wild. If you do, like, uh, again, it's not really an even amount of damage, but anything that's multiplied by 20, it does no damage. This thing's wild. If only there's a way to make it more offensive. Like, if you have something on the bench that can deal damage out, um, let's take a look at Decidueye GX. Where are you at? So this, for example, Feather Arrow, the ability says once during your turn, you may put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. So that could be a way to do it. You can, uh, every turn, put two damage down, plus the Mr. Mime could pl uh, throw some damage counters. If you can bench a bunch of these Gengar, too. Where is it? With the Gnawing Curse. Whenever your opponent attaches an energy card from their hand to one of their Pokemon, put two damage counters on that Pokemon. That counts for as many Gengar as you have. So, for example, three Gengar, each put two damage counters, so they'd be putting six damage counters. Then the Mr. Mime can add even more, one for each card in their hand. So, like, there could be ways to make it work. It would be kind of difficult. And to keep you guys on the bench safe, you can also get another Mr. Mime. Which has the bench barrier ability, prevent all damage done to your bench Pokemon by attacks. That could come in handy. So, a few ways you can try to make that work, I guess. You can also... For example, let's say, where is it there? Uh, Delphox. If you have this Delphox on your bench, once during your turn, you may burn the opponent's active Pokemon. That gives you two damage at the end of every turn that they stay burned. You can also, who poisons from the bench right now? Well, let's take a look at this actually, Hot Poison. When you place Salazzle from hand, to one of your uh, to evolve one of your Pokemon, you can burn and poison the opposing active Pokemon. So that can do like you know three damage counters. Mr. Mime GX can put even more damage counters down. There could be like all sorts of ways you can actually make that Mr. Mime work. It's more defensive to say active and take damage or basically block damage while getting some bench Pokemon to do some more damage. So that could be some ways to make that work. All right, I think that's going to be about ready to roll. Beacon Beacon says you like watching these vids. Keep making them because you'll be back next stream. Sounds good. Every Tuesday we do viewer battles in Pokemon TCG Online. And I want to get back to a routine where I will do a pre-recorded video, a new deck strategy I come up with, and I'll probably try to record them earlier in the week. Maybe have them uploaded on Thursdays or something like that. We'll see how things roll. And then I want to take those new decks and battle you folks in TCG Online. Alrighty. And Roll King, you do have six Celestial Storm. 
have success or celestial storm packs hopefully that's what you mean because then you can do some trading all right it's time to rest the back as sailor pika says and i'll be back tomorrow evening for some pokemon ultra sun wi-fi battles check my twitter later on tonight too because i'm going to update the thumbnail right now and show you the prizes we have available and i'll let you, i sh do i want to let you i'll let you know on twitter the little secret i have to go with that and we'll just take it from there all right, so thank you folks for tuning in for our day one coverage of Celestial Storm, but there is many more footages, that's not a term, to come from Celestial Storm as we get into the nitty-gritty of some of these Pokemon GX as time goes on. Again, thanks for tuning in. If you want to uh, subscribe to the channel, if you're not yet subscribed for some more regular content, you know what to do. Click the old subscribe button and uh, just roll from there. Thank you again for tuning in. Professor Chaz is now signing off, and I will catch you next time. Have a good evening, everybody, and if you're going to stick around playing some TCG online, good luck with some card pulls. See if you make use of those event tickets and get yourself some online booster packs to uh, add to your collection.